Hello my fellow gamers and welcome back to our Throat the Unclean campaign where we are staring down at the second to last Wood Elf hideout. Last episode we got to burn down the Witchwood, we grabbed these two settlements, we lost the pits unfortunately but you know what, we're moving on, we're moving on. It's it's not huge actually having territory, as long as we got one territory it doesn't really matter. But we're now in a position to move down, deal with the second to the last one. We've got 50 turns to take out. Well, it's got to be more than that when we take them out. Don't forget we start with 50 turns. So we've just gone down to where we started. Um, but yeah, we are having to kind of go through Dark Elf territory. They're not thrilled about it. They're not happy. But we try to negotiate talk with them. And they're just like, no... Oh, okay. Since it doesn't make a difference. Oh, attrition. Since it makes a difference, we'll start doing this for you. Oh, well, we could start, but six turns. That's not going to really help. You might as well be raided. Get me food and monies. How are you looking territory wise? Like, is there any buildings? No, we're good. But no, you've not moved because I've got you in raiding, haven't I? Well done. So we're just going to wait for this army to catch up, and then we'll take on the Wood Elves. And then... Ooh, Confederation! I think the Skaven just won a battle there. Clan Rick just just declared War of the World, apparently. Uh, we don't actually have military access with them. Whoops. Well, these did some. Um... I'm sure it'll be fine. I must eat feed. I'm actually tempted to finish, wait for that research to finish because the research is actually specifically for health abominations. So if we can get that done before we attack. It just means our hail pitch will just be that little bit better. <laughs> Green beard. I like that. You declare war on me. Oh, that's nice. Green beard. Oh. Oh, Clan Richter's there, though. Oh. Um. Have fun with that. Um. I'm sorry, what just happened? They were nowhere near us. How have they intercepted us? I am very confused by this. Um. Yeah, how did they see us? Like, we underweighed nowhere near them. Come on, map. Load up. Show me what I'm up against. Oh, it's... Yeah, okay. Um, well, we've got to hail the Wolf Girl, so we can deal with that. Uh, we do have explosive rat ogres, I believe. Or is it just the one? Oh, dear. It might just be the one. And um, we do have flammable rat ogres. Um, this isn't looking good, is it? <laughs> yeah, this is not... This is, they've got two tree men. But again, any damage we could do in this battle means the garrison's weaker. I mean, we've got to fight it anyway, but... I'm literally going to go maximum. So we can just spam them. Yeah, we're going to have to fight this one, guys, but... I don't expect us to survive. But again, if we kill as many as they can before we, we break, that, that was worth it. Right? Not entirely sure how we got here, but um, I'm not feeling too confident. I mean, look at it all coming in. We've got Zotes. We've got three tree men. One of them being an ancient tree man. A lot of the army is Dryads. And we've got Tree King on the flank here. It's um, And they're supported by archers. So they've got a lot of heavy hitters here. We also have some Hawk Riders who are doing a very majestic ride over the cliff. Beautiful. Um, I've actually got nothing to um, fight that. Um, we can fast forward a bit, to be honest, because we're just moving our forces forward. I mean, how do we actually outnumber them? 
Um, I want to say at least three to one, but yeah, it's not great. I mean, these Hawk Riders, um, I've got no range. Absolutely no range. This is a support army, not a main army. But we're going to send in the Skaven anyway. But what does happen is I learned a valuable lesson. How the Wolf Gale. Now, I thought this thing did damage. It doesn't. It just stops him from moving. It doesn't stop him from shooting. So literally, that achieved nothing. Absolutely nothing. Look at them. They're there waiting. So me, it's this map quite dark. We had the other episode where the map was blinding. Yeah, you've got Glade Guards. And they've got Hagborn tips as well. I don't even know what that means. But it sounds... And Swift Silver Shards? I don't know. It's without... Imagine, but they're now moving forward. The Hawk Riders, after being tickled a little bit, have told them, yep, they're just coming over the hill. And um, we couldn't see a lot of this. You see all these notifications saying we can see the enemy now. Um, yep, and immediately Skaven are being shot by trees. We're being shot, and we can't even see these guys yet. It's, um, I mean, he's taken a few shots. You might want a duck. Oh, it's um, not good. We do have some Skaven, um, Skaven jumping in there just to try and disrupt him as our main force goes in. We do have the Rat Ogres at the back as well. Doing even more magic over there. So a nice spread of magic going down. And our hordes are now charging in. But we got... Oh, oh no. Oh dear. In you go, guys. Rat Ogres following close behind them. Yeah, and in comes the Ancient Treeman. And we're trying to get... Oh, dear. Not good. But, oh, we've got our newbie over here. The Mutant Rogue. Look at... Oh, isn't he not majestic? Isn't he not just fabulous? Got some healing being dropped over there. The two tree men there, they're, they're surrounded literally by hundreds. I'm just not bothered. Do have some scaving at the back, causing problems. But look, over here, I think it's the Mew and Rat Ogre. They've started breaking, so we're sending scaving from here. And this is something I've learned as well. It's only dedicate what you need to. So we only need a couple units here. Get all the others to flank in. And look, we're breaking this flank. We're actually breaking the flank, and over here we've got some units. All flanges are broken. We've got some scavengers getting in the back end of the zone. Oh, war points are going down there. But yeah, this is a good sign. We've broken them, and now we only need two units to chase those dryads down. The rest can now come in and flank, which is exactly what we're going to do. We are to do as much damage as possible. Oh, another big hit there. Big hit. But here they go, look, they're now trying, look, we've only got two units there, but they're keeping those two heavy hitters pinged. We've got the Grey Lord, Grey Shear getting into the, um, here so we can, oh, he's getting shot. More Skaven coming in, because I noticed the Zoats were low in leadership, so we're getting behind them, with the Rat Ogres targeting just them. And over here, we've now got forces that Tree Man did try and come in, and he's pinned one of them down, but that's fine. But yeah, look, the Zoats are breaking. And we've got Skaven getting into the back um, back ranks now, as well as the Mutant Rattle, who is just hiding it on. But we are trying to chase down. Anything that breaks, we're trying to chase and get off the field. And not even these Treekin, because, because they're so cut off from the rest, we're going to start bringing some Rattle and that, and Skaven into the flank to try and get them to break. And of course, the more they break, the more they're going to waver. The more they waver, the more we can press and break. And we're going to keep trying first. Um, because we can't beat these guys in a straight up fight. Like, the tree men alone would probably decimate us. Um, oh, that was us doing our ability on the last big group of infantry they had left. Um, yeah, because against Tree Kid and Dryad, it's not going to do much. But the Glade Guard, that explosion absolutely decimated. And as you can see, oh, there's another unit there, but we've got Skaven coming in. Get into their flank. Bounce power is starting to equal up. But again, what we're doing is trying to assign um, as many units as is the minimum needed. And try and focus and break. Look, we're breaking all these. And then we're chasing them down. Over here, 
We've pretty much there. Yeah, as they're running off, we're chasing them off the field. The tree can here finally broken, and that's amazing news. Not only have they lost both flanks, it means the only guys at the front are the tree men. These guys can now just flank around, go where they're needed. You know, you've got some dryads here, so a couple of units here are going to go up for the dryads and try and beat them. And the rest of this army are just going to ignore the tree men and just move on. Look, we got, we're doing it, that it's, I think it's two units of spears on each tree man. That's all we're dedicating to it. Everything else going after the forces to try and, and more Skaven being summoned. And yeah, look, their leadership is just in tatters. And of course then, big boy here coming in. Look at the size of him compared to the normal rattle jerseys. Yeah, and any chance of reinforcement is quickly gone. I mean, we got a unit of clan rats chasing these zoats out. Out you go. And the band's power is going in our favour. There's more and more guys. Look, he killed some Skaven before he left. Just because they got in the way. I love it. But look, all that. What else? Gone. What else are here? Gone. Um, even over here, the Dryads. Gone. And now it's just the tree, um, tree men. That's it. And even there, the ancient tree man is kind of like, this is not good. This is really not good. Um, but yeah, I'm... Not making the mistake of giving up. We are just focusing our whole army on chasing these off the field. Get them off. Get them. Make sure they're gone. Because I don't want them rallying. Like over here, look, they've rallied the moment we gave up on them. So we're just like, nope, charge them in. Finish them off. Here, look, yeah. It's pretty much just three tree men there. The other 40 models are guys that just haven't fled off the field. So, um. Yeah, my bounce power is going in our favour now. Look, 12. We've somehow turned it. Yep, they've shattered, so we can just chase them off the field now. And there we go, guys. We actually won that battle. And everything has shattered. And what we're going to do now is we're going to chase these guys off. Now, I believe this guy gets away. But he dies, and he dies. We take them out. We kill them. And they pretty much... Well, it's an inset battle, isn't it? So... Um, I'm, I can't remember if the attackers die or not, but yeah, we take out these two of the three tree men with everything that's left. So somehow, from nothing, we got a victory. Well done, Skaven. Um, I'm not entirely sure how we just did that, but um, yeah, we. Of course it was an intercept battle, we just killed them all. Oh. I didn't I forgot about that. Oh our weak army just took out their main strength. Oh my, I don't believe that. We will give that to you. Um, we're just going to hold from over. I cannot believe that just happened. Whoa, 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 whoa. How can they have a retaliation force there if there is no... There is no witch wood. Well, I guess it's just the magical portal, isn't it? Yeah. Well, goodbye to all those settlements. Nothing I can do about You guys did amazing. That was absolutely insane what you just did. Very good. So what we're going to do is we're going to merge them. And we're going to give you some measurements of an arm. Because quite frankly, you've earned it. Good job. Good job. And then these guys get the promotion. Oh, brute horror. Yes. Yeah, you've got to go through the so... Missile resistance would be very good because he's now the last target. Yeah, no, that was a huge win. Well played. Um, of course, they won't replenish now, will they? Um, we've only got one left to go, then. But yeah, those wood elves, they can just do whatever. There's literally nothing we can do about them. 
Oh, what? Did they just win a battle? And be oh my. Clan Rectus, you are devious. Especially with just an army of slaves. So that'll probably take them some time to get there and actually do something, so I'm not too worried. Oh, I can't get a garrison. Do we not have a shoreline closer? We might as well go underground and go just go across there. Might as well get you guys up to the border then. Or we can upgrade you. That would be worth it because the Wood Elves probably will. If they faff around with these, we might be able to get this garrisoned. I mean, it's already a walled settlement, isn't it? Of course it is. Oh, we could. Ooh. Oh. Oh, that's shiny. Oh, I want to try and get that. That's very nice. And the only set, I mean, that's not walled is that one at the back there, which is absolutely fine. It's fine. I say that. Incredible. So that would up our money by quite a bit straight off the bat. Or, I mean, how much is that? That's 30% of this. 3% but it's all regions. Uh, we're probably better off actually getting this. In all seriousness, because that will affect. Oh, dark elves are doing a dark elf thing. Threat mage. You guys from Plenison? Yes, you are. That's good. Okay, then. Let's see if we can arm. Now, what you want? <laughs> Must be really annoying them. It's like we could be to work together. It's like just no, no. Where are the wood elves going? Because they couldn't. Have, we would have seen them go here or here, surely. They can't be going straight. I say even if they do, we got a good garrison. So um, not that bad a thing. Anyway. I must eat feed. Honestly, I thought we could just start traveling. Where? Yep, so we'll just jump across because I believe the final one is there. Yes, yeah, so if we can jump across here, which I think we can, and then we can kind of get our strength together. I want to know where they're going, where the wood elves are. That's what we need to know is where the wood elves are, where they're going. Anyway, end turn. And then what's brilliant is once we've destroyed the settlement, we can start the battle at any point with all the debuffs to them. And, oh, that's good. Right, there you are, Greenbeard. Probably very similar army to what we've already been up against. And our weak army can take that on, so <laughs> I'm not too worried. That is just recruitment, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's all wolf rat stuff. That's nice. I mean, we could grab that because that will actually help with building stuff. Um, now nah, we'll go with that. We're gonna go with that. Not seen the wood elves yet, though. That makes me uncomfortable. But hopefully, if we can get money through attacking that, the moon shard. Take them out. What clan? Military access for three hundred. Yes, I will give you that. Don't 
but seriously, where are these wood elves? What's good? We should have need. Doom decay. Yeah, move tailors. Stop now. Must feed. Well, you guys are just gonna have to suffer attrition. There's absolutely nothing we can do about that. Full seven upgrade. Um. Okay. No, I'm gonna leave it to upgrade that one because that's more important. If we're gonna have to spend money on it. That's the way we want to go. And we want to keep an eye on nearly 9,000 gold we need for that. Well, warpstone tokens. Doesn't look close to that yet. End turn. Yeah, I mean, look, we've not even taken we've not even taken 50 turns yet. If we were really pushing ourselves, we could have probably um, done it all in 50 turns. Well, in fair, you guys emerge. Get rid of you. Master of Sears. Oh, I just realised what I've done. You can't actually do the recruitment, Jay. Oh, okay. They would literally have to go all the way back to it. Oh! Ill considered. Let's make some money from that. You? Certainly not. Oh, no, that's perfect. They've gone the wrong way. Demon Let's get you. Stock scuttle. Let the bell scream, scream. There we go. Let them know we're here. And we can get a little the bit of replenishment while we're away. Oh, jeez. That's a lot of tree kid. Again, probably not worth... How long to... Have there been turns? Oh, dear. Oh, but you... Can't afford that yet. Okay then. It's okay, we can save money. We can I mean we'll probably get a load of money when we take the settlement. Oh, we've encountered the um Nag Nagarafi or whatever they're called. Shadow King, that guy, yeah. The thing assist me now! Defense of Alliance, no. I like it every time they ask. Got the Skaver and Rictus, they're, they're fin small each time. They'll go for it. Die for me, me. Die for me, me. But don't you go for it. Couldn't actually care. Um. Oh, we could get Rat Ogres. In two turns. Mm, is it even worth the wait? Or should we just attack now? Twist bend mangle experiment. Cut slice money. Wall keeps all hands up. In circle. Experiment. Legs tails move. We can't hear here. Oh nice, so if they attack us. I mean, five turns they start suffering attrition. We're literally in no hurry to get them. <laughs> and we already are more powerful than them. So the chances are they're not going to attack us. So I'm actually tempted to just wait them out. I mean, we're making profit. Okay, food's not great, but it never is escaping. I think I may grab that, though. I know I said I wasn't going to bother with buildings, but I mean... The wood elves are just hanging out no. here. It's got how many turns did it take them to get there? They've now got to get back and further. So yeah, wouldn't afford to be too much of a problem. And now we've got these surrounded. We can literally just sit back and wait until they're pretty much falling apart, and then just march in and kill them all. But guys, 
that is going to have to wait to the next episode. Thank you so much for joining me. And I'll see you for the next one where we will take on Greenbeard and destroy the Moonshard. Till then, guys. Take care.